Okay, I'm almost to it. Let me see if it's still here. Yeah, it is. Uh, how am I gonna... I'm gonna have to parallel park right here. Yeah, so let me do that. Wow, it's even got the cord on it. It is a Toshiba. Wow. All right, well, it looks like it. Very weak CRT, wow. Video. Well, we're going to, we're going to do an EOL on this, but this is a scientific EOL because, oh, there we go. We need to pull this thing apart and what we're going to try and do is get an idea of how much tension the implosion band that's around the outside of the CRT does. So in order to do that, what we need to do is evacuate the tube uh, and then disassemble the TV and cut the band and see how much snapback there is and what the gap is um, in the banding. And I'll explain this more. So this will be two parts. This will be an EOL video and this will be a disassembly and measurement video. Um, yeah. Okay, a little background on this, the purpose of this video. Someone uh, had a bunch of CRTs for sale and they were the old, the older Delta Gun 25 AP22, 25 XP22. Um, those uh, 60s color CRTs and those CRTs use a safety glass for protection. Go ahead, you can take that out. Uh, newer CRTs are banded. And all these CRTs that were for sale all had really bad cataract. And removing a cataract from a round CRT is one thing. You can do it fairly safe, but removing a cataract from a, a the, I should say the safety lens from a rectangular CRT is we've had several implosions and my friend Dave in Florida um, we were talking about a way to make it safe to remove the safety lens to get rid of the cataract and one thing that Scotty at Hawkeye was doing is he was banding the CRTs and that's basically the process of putting a metal strap around the outside because the theory is in order for the front to cave in, the sides have to expand out. So the band adds a bit of tension to keep the thing from imploding. So what the whole purpose of this EOL and picking this TV up and all of that, because I stopped picking these curbside sets up. Uh, you might as well pull the speakers too, I'll keep those. And this. The whole purpose of this um, video is to cut the band and see how much tension's on it. And we can get an idea of how much tension is on the band by how much, how wide it opens up when I slice it. And then the next step, of course, is to look into actually banding these, the, the older 25. XP22s and that before we pull a cataract lens off the front. So we're going to get this out of here. Let's see what. It... Hmm, not bad. Foam is still good. So we'll keep these. 
I keep the degaussing coil. They were good as an AM antenna. And keep the chassis. Okay, we're we're gonna lift it out. And this is a little bit more than a metal band. Look at these magnets. Yeah. Kind of interesting. Okay, can you stand it up and let's have a look at the band. Okay, so here's the band. And that almost looks like it would... That almost looks like it would pop apart right there. Is that... Is some kind of fancy oh, rivets. Yeah, one like rivets. So what we want to do is we want to cut it and we want to see how far it snaps open. Is that glued? I'll tell you this. It's tight. Uh -huh. It's really tight. So should I just get the gr high-speed grinder and just yeah. whack it? It's tight. Okay. No, it's not going to implode because there's no vacuum on it. I mean, I guess it could break from the shift in pressure, which is why I'm going to wear the helmet. Um, but it's not going to it's not going to break. And I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of comments. Why do you do this to TVs? These TVs. Well, nobody wants these TVs anymore. I won't even pull over on the side of the road and pick them up. I mean, I just can't scream that loud enough that nobody wants these. I mean, the scrappers don't even really want them anymore. They're almost like a negative value. So, this is pretty thick metal. This uh, band is no joke. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that. And Chris is going to record me. And I'm cutting in this. You can stand closer, man. You're not. I mean, it's possible it could blow, isn't it? So it must just serve more to hold it in the set than it to provide any kind of uh, 
No. Structural. No, it's a structural. Hmm. It's got sticky tape all the way around. It's a heavy piece of metal. Well, that was kind of uh That's it. Hey, at least we know that there's not a lot of tension on it. Yeah, I'll keep this. Set didn't have roaches, so that's a plus. Meltomatic gun. I bet what happened, I was thinking about it, I bet why it went out, I bet a couple of the gun elements shorted together yeah. bef be before it popped. I remember Scotty telling me he had some kind of tool that would pull the banding up and he was the that really heavy stuff like they use on packages that spring steel he would pull it up really tight and then crimp it but maybe really tight is not you know like a thousand pounds it's just it's just enough maybe it doesn't need that much uh, there you go. That should answer your question, Dave.